So I checked out the platformer, and sadly it does not support treated wood. That That's rather sad. But thankfully Immersive Engineering has some of its own cool stuff that I can use, like scaffolding and whatnot, uh, which I, I may very well do uh, just to get a basic, like, <laughs> structure going. Um, and I also realize I still have another loot chest from that now, and I get some more of the colored wood, which may be useful later. Uh, we, we shall see, actually. Uh, but for now, I want to make a few sticks. Treated wood scaffolding, which I should be able to make that. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's make one more set, I think. Yeah, 18 is a good start, and then I have some extra treated woods and sticks that I can use, which I think I'm probably going to need to craft up some more uh, from the stuff that I have. Do I have another? I've got a whole other tank already full. Excellent. All right, so let's get this started. Um, now, I want to try and pick something so that it looks symmetrical. This should work. There's one. Uh, yeah, right here. So if I make the center here... And then I just build up from there. And the scaffolding, thankfully, is actually a ladder. It's climbable on all sides. And I don't think... It depends on the version of immersive engineering, but if it goes too... Um, or if it, if it was too low before, the, uh, the windmills wouldn't produce very much power. Um, and thankfully, that was removed, slash reduced, whatever, uh, so that you didn't have to worry about it as much. One, there we go. And then I need the kinetic dynamo. But before I do that, actually, I think I'm going to place a block right there. Because that would be a lot easier to work with. Uh, there. And then I can break this. <laughs> stand on the side. Let's do that over here. And then I can harvest this one. Hopefully, I'll harvest it where I'm at. Yep. And then this one. I'll pick that up when I'm back down. And then I should be able to put the windmill in place. There. No? Yes? There it goes. Okay, cool. Very cool. And then, uh, I mean, this is as basic as I can get right now. Uh, I do need some LV coils up here. Some kind of lighting system as well. Because I think, as it is, this is just not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm also going to need to transfer that power down. So I think at the moment I might just put one of these on the back side so I have some place to actually climb up to when I get up here. Its own little platform, if you will. Chop that and climb down this. Actually, I need to climb back up a little bit. Wait, there we go. Wait, oh, that's very bright. Oh, it's right where the sun is. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's very bright indeed, but it's it's there. Windmill running. I mean, that's as basic as you can get. I I will get some power set up next, I think. So let's let's work on that. This says, "Now we're making power, but we need a way to move the power from your windmill to the machines that need it." Immersive engineering adds three tiers of wires, connectors and relays: LV, MV, and HV. Where power enters and exits a network of wires, you'll need a connector since the wires have a distance limit. You'll also need relays to extend that range as well as any at any point you want to connect multiple connectors to a single point since connectors can only have one wire connection. To make everything look nice, there are posts and wall mounts you can craft to attach connectors like real power lines. Yep, and power lines, if this is the right version of immersive engineering, and I think it is, they'll start zapping you now unless you, uh, you know, insulate them. Which, yeah. And I don't think that I really need to go above LV for this. Um, and it requires me to make LV, so I might as well. I need one wire coil, one connector, and one relay. That should be really easy. Alright, so the LV wire coils require copper wire, which is made from either shears or wire cutters, uh, which then is used on copper plates, which is either made from a, a metal press, which I don't have yet, or smashing it with a hammer. So, let me get that done. I will need lots of copper for this. So I am going to be making a bunch here. Let's do one, two, three, four. Need to smash it with a hammer to turn those into that. Then I need to cut that. And we get four copper wire, which then I wrap around a 
does wait does it have to be treated stick no it can be a regular one which thankfully is pretty cheap so then i can just make this and i get my first four lv wire coils i have been smelting up a bunch of clay which i knew i would need at some point into terracotta i also have a bunch of wub ingots i forgot i need to put those away um and then i can use these plus some copper ingots to make the connector here and the wire relay here which gives me four eight and four of those so that's actually a pretty decent amount that should be enough to get me started with this stuff moving power and we get a loot chest for that claim that this is going to be kind of useful if i need uh to remember these i i do usually remember how much is in here yeah connector is limited to 256 power in or out yeah well let's open up this loot chest Oh my gosh, this zoo chest is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I have LV wire connectors, relays, MV wire connectors and relays, and HV wire connectors and relays. <laughs> that is a good reward. That is a very good reward. I'm very pleased with that reward. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, uh, oof. Wow. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my wooden storage crates and start putting my immersive machine items in that I think like all these relays and wires and connectors oh my uh, the, even the wire cutter the hammer LV wire cutter because I've got another hammer in the other chest as well treated supplies which I will need more of some terracotta oh okay so that's and heck even I'll even put that in there for now that that's pretty good that was really good that made me very happy. So let's work towards this, the cloche. If I can get this going before we finish this up, I will be very happy. The garden cloche is a self-contained farm. Simply provide it water, a seed, and some dirt. An optional fertilizer, and it will automatically grow and harvest crops. Note, the garden cloche can also grow other crops that don't grow on dirt. Some experimentation might prove beneficial. For instance, uh, sugarcane will grow on sand. Uh... 64 bone meal, 8 fluid pipes. Nice. Oh, that's right, because I need water. So if I start this... Oh, heck, if I just make this, it gives me the fluid pipes. That's nice, and I think I might keep the bone meal for other stuff. But uh, <laughs> we'll see about that. So let's look up a garden cloche. Uh, and it requires glass. Iron mechanical components, treated wood planks. I might have some of those. Uh, let's look, because I raided a village. Iron mechanical component. Did that just need one? Yes. I did not get any of the vacuum tubes, though. So that's kind of a downer. But I do have treated wood planks in here. Got a couple of that. I will need some glass, which I should have in the mundane here. One, two, three, four, was it? Yep, so then all I need is a vacuum tube, which is made in an engineer's workbench. Oof. All right, so that's just some treated wood and a treated wood fence, which the fence requires even more. Okay, I don't know if I have enough treated wood here. No, no, I don't. So let me get another stack of treated wood, and I'll be right back. All right, there's fences. Uh, I believe I need a crafting table i hadn't thought about that there we go doesn't have to be any specific wood uh, a bit of treated wood and one of those should make engineer's workbench okay now where to put this uh maybe i can put it up here in the workshop because that's pretty much the idea i had for it at least um i think i can place it like this I'm not entirely sure. If I place it here, it'll kind of be in the corner. I think I'll just place it there. Oh, it actually went in the corner anyway. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of wonky. Let's try picking that up and placing it. Hey, that's not... <laughs> that's cheaty. If I put it here. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then if I need to, I can always just kind of click on the weirding gadget but this should work i realize that there's a little bit of a lighting issue on this but i think i think it'll be okay so a little bit of a tight space but i'm all right with that at the moment uh, i do need some kind of blueprint which i think i grabbed one of those um i thought that i i might have had that there we go and i should take these out as well i just realized those are actually part of it 
steel scaffolding. All this stuff can go into... Heck, I'm even going to take the cauldrons and the iron bars. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave those. Those are vanilla mundane stuff. But I am going to put the rest of it in this crate so that I can use it as needed. There we go. And in fact, I'm actually going to bring this thing with me so that I can start doing my, my work inside. This is... Oh, that's arc furnace electrodes. That's not going to be useful. Okay. <laughs> So let's put that in there. I need a blueprint. There we go. I need this one here because it, it makes vacuum tubes as well as other things. That one is... That's metal press. Components. Yeah, this one here. So I need some paper, lapis, iron, aluminum, or aluminium, and copper. Okay, be right back. All right, that should work with what I've got. There we go. I now have the blueprint which I can use to make this, or at least find out what the ingredients are for it. Let's put this in place. There we go. So vacuum tube, one lime stained glass, nickel plate, copper wire, and redstone. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it can be any stained glass. It's just, it's taking its time to scroll through it. Okay. Any glass, nickel plate, copper wire, and redstone. And nickel plates. There we go. And I think... That should do. Let's put the nickel plates in. We need some glass. We need some copper wire. And we need some redstone. Hey, there we go. I can just grab that, and I've got 30 vacuum tubes. That should last me for a few minutes at the very least. Uh, <laughs> and then I could always take the, uh, the blueprint out and put it in here, but as it's the only one I have, I'm not that concerned about moving it out. Uh, I do plan on getting the one that makes things more efficient, uh, using a workbench, but that requires steel, and I haven't moved into that yet. So, I should feasibly have everything I need to make a cloche. Let's see if I can do this. Burning the midnight oil here. There we go. Got it. Yeah, immersive farming. And now, if I put this over here... Wow, textures don't, don't, the, the shaders don't work so good with this. <laughs> so this is a, usually a glass dome with a, a little red light at the top. And uh, yeah, it has like a, an input and an output. There's a water input on the back, which you'd need a pump for, uh, which I think it gives me some of the stuff like the fluid pipe and the bone meal. We're going to claim that. There we go. We need, we need to move fluids, <laughs> which would be very important here. If I take this up, I can put this up here for the moment, and I can dig these spots out and actually have uh, the fluid pump just pumping straight into it, I believe. So let's do that right away, and I can use some of this other stuff for, for all my goodies. So I'm immediately going to be needing this for hemp, uh, and I don't have power running to it either. So let me change it to day first. Yeah, the next next thing here, the fluid pump can be power can be powered to move fluids faster through connected pipes or to pump fluids from the world like water and lava. It does require power. So if we can power both of these items, then we should be pretty good to go. Um, I just need to make one. So pump requires fluid pipe, which we now have, iron plates, and iron mechanical components. Hey, I think I've got all that. The only thing I, I'm frustrated about right now is that I keep running back and forth because my uh, uh, crafting table is down here, so I think I'm going to make another one for up there. There we go. All right, so this should be all I need to do. Take out those, and then I can make these. Yes, because the iron mechanical components, by the way, are very simply made, but I did get some for free in that village. So I now have a water pump, which if I put it down, I can't remember if I put it down... Yeah, there's no open side, so I think it has an opening at the bottom. Hmm. Let's put down some dirt and see if it does. Because I don't I I can't remember if it starts open at the bottom. It probably will tell me if I just look at it. No, it's got an input at the bottom already. Okay. So that's gonna be key. Let's open this, pick it back up. And if I put this here, and let's actually pick up the cloche for a moment, because I know that that's going to place where it is. I will need my hammer, and if I need to change the opposite side, I can, but in this case, I want to do this. That's an input. That's an output. 
Perfect. And then I can just put this garden cloche back down. And we can have this being powered on top and in the back. Now, I could feasibly have this running in other ways. But for now, let's grab my two buckets and get myself some water. Bucket one and bucket two. So now I have an infinite source of water that can pump into this. But it's not going to do anything unless it's powered. And you can actually see in the top left there it says facing side, no connection. And you can use your hammer to, to uh, determine that as well. But for now, let's see, I need some dirt. I will need uh, some hemp seeds. There we go, and I can put that in there. And you can see the little hemp plants are inside. And this will be the output right here at the front, uh, which I could use with conveyor belts or put another crate in front, which I think what I'm going to do for now is just put the crate in front of it. Uh, I know that that's not very practical, but it's going to be a means to an end so we can make this thing produce even more power. So now we need to run power from there down to both of these devices. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it will be at least. It's just getting it around a corner that's going to be a little bit more challenging. So let's see. I should have a whole bunch of connectors down here. In fact, I do. I've got, uh, let's start off with just the LV wire relays. Those are going to be important. I will need some LV wire connectors and of course the LV wire coils. Those are going to be very, very important uh, because that wire, I think it can only go 16 blocks at a time if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I forgot to claim this. Let's claim the fluid pipe. Yeah, and I have a whole bunch. Uh, if I go back to windy power, rather moving power, uh, and yeah, they didn't actually have the listing on here for how far it'll travel, but I believe the uh, LV will go 16, MV will go 16, and the HV will go up to 32, but it is not insulatable. So there's pluses and minus to each. So let's just climb up here Whoo, during the middle of the day when it's very bright. And wait, I can't, I can't get up here. Oh God. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Okay. That was a bad idea. Oof. All right, so I guess I needed to put uh, another level down below this because <laughs> I didn't realize I can't climb up where that is. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Now <laughs> I can get around this side. I think I can actually climb through the front as well, and these blades aren't actually going to hurt me or anything. I just, I don't know, I was feeling a little bit less immersive that way. <laughs> Considering it's immersive engineering, I think it's important. There we go. Now... To get an LV wire connector on the top. There we go. So that should, yep, that got power in it, which is excellent. Now to get that power elsewhere. <laughs> and have it run down here. That's kind of the trick, isn't it? I don't think, well, I don't need the connectors anymore. And I don't think that this will actually travel from one to the other. Do I have, I don't, I don't have them. I left my wire cutters downstairs. I did. Oh, well, I'm going to risk it. Hopefully I don't, I don't bite the big one here. Let's, okay, I made it. I made it. Okay, didn't die. <laughs> I need my wire cutters because uh, I only have four pieces and breaking things is just not going to work for me. Wire cutters will basically help you to remove the uh, coils from stuff without, uh, from the connectors without having to break the connectors. So that's just a really big benefit in my mind. <laughs> All right, so now to try and see if I can survive this. But just in case, I'm going to start getting some regen going. There we go, it worked. All right. So if I connect this to here, nope, it will not work. Ugh. Uh, where, where did, the, oh, I got that back. Okay, so that's, that's not going to work. That's very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. So I'm going to need to have something above it or next to it or or whatever coming off of it and running down the length of it. Meh. Well, let's start with this, and I'll see what I can come up with. Be right back. There we go. Okay, finally got it to work. It's very dark right now. I, I, need, I need a torch because <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous up here. Put one there for the moment. Actually, that's even better. I like that. And I'll leave them in both spots. So I do have it connected. 
Ugh, it's not going to look very pretty at the start. Boy, I'm definitely going to need to fix this. I, I think I might start working on uh, how to get this looking a little bit prettier. Alright, that's looking a little bit better. Not not perfect or anything, but like I said, this is going to be a starter so we can start getting more power and upgrading this. And then once that's upgraded, then we can start developing the tower a bit and make it look a lot more, uh, well, immersive. But for now, let's see about getting this to... Oh, I need some connectors. Uh, I will need two connectors and another piece of wire. So there's that. That should start getting power. Yep, it's getting power into the unit here, which is good. But it's not going to do anything until it has water as well. So first I need to make myself a little bit more of the wire. There we go. Then I can connect from there to hopefully down here. I think it should reach okay. Yep, and then this gets power. And it should start feeding water in here. I hope, because it's got automatic input on the bottom. Output there. It does not seem to be doing anything. Er, that's that's a sad. It has a sad. So yeah, I've done some sort of basic rudimentary mistake. I'm sure it's uh, <laughs> very easily resolved. But at the in the current time, uh, I need to come up with a better way of getting water inside. Uh, I'm I've got the pump set up improperly. I'm sure. I'll look up into it and I'll fix it up for next time. But for now, just know that we now have power running and uh, we have potential to have hemp being grown constantly. So I feel like uh, this is actually a big step. We're, we're, we're making power. I've got the workshop started. I'm probably going to start moving all the items in here also so I don't need to be next to all the barking dogs the whole time. Um, and it'll save me a little bit of a trip running up and down these stairs as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so I figured it out. Yeah, it was something very stupid indeed. Let's just kind of... Yep, that's what I thought. See you guys next time. Bye!